Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer. And today we'll be doing uh, morning prayer as always from the app. And today the church commemorates uh, St. Hill, uh, abbess of um, the 7th century. And um, I've got to be very careful I say this, a much tilled, uh, who um, was a mystic of the 13th century. Uh, this morning I'll be reading from Psalm 63 and uh, Isaiah chapter 11 and if you want to read the New Testament reading uh, for today it's Matthew 8 verses 23 to the end. Oh, I should say sorry for uh, a slightly later than normal morning prayer. We had a plumber in um, this morning and so um, I thought that'd probably be a bit too noisy uh, to to try and do this at the same time as well. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence which the saints enjoy surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 63 O God, you are my God, eagerly I seek you. My soul is a thirst for you. My flesh also faints for you, as in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So would I gaze upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. Your loving kindness is better than life itself, and so my lips shall praise you. I will bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed, and meditate upon you in the, night, in the watches of the night, for you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand shall hold me fast, but those who seek my soul to destroy it shall go down to the depths of the earth, let them fall by the edge of the sword, and become a portion of jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All those who swear by him shall be glad, for the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah chapter 11, beginning at the 10th verse. On that day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. On that day, the Lord will extend his hand yet a second time to recover the remnant that is left of his people from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Ethiopia, from Elam, from Shinar, from Hamath, and from the coastlands of the sea. He will raise a signal for the nations, and will assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather the dispersed of Judah, from the four corners of the earth. The jealousy of Ephraim shall depart, the hostility of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah, and Judah shall not be hostile towards Ephraim, but they shall swoop down on the backs of the Philistines in the west. Together they shall plunder the people of the east, they shall put forth their hand against Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites shall obey them, and the Lord will utterly destroy the, the tongue of the sea of Egypt, and will wave his hand over the river. 
with his scorching wind and will split it into seven channels <clears throat> and make a way to cross Unvert. As there shall be a highway from Assyria for the remnant that is left of his people, as there was for Israel when they came up from the land of Egypt. You will say on that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, for though you were angry with me, your anger turned away from me and you comforted me. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And you will say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, to call on his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy. O royal Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness will go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. They who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life and you child shall be called the prophet of the most high for you will go before the lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins in the tender compassion of our god the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. They who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. Surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us make our prayer in the power of the Spirit, looking to Jesus, the pioneer of our faith. that with the noble fellowship of the prophets we may discern the signs of your kingdom in our midst. Lord, we pray that we would see your kingdom come here in Redditch, that we would see the signs of you, you working in the world. We pray to you, O Lord, that with the glorious company of the apostles we may proclaim your gospel throughout the world. Lord, we thank you for our Alpha course and we thank you for the other ways in which we reach out to our community with the good news. Uh, we pray for the churches across this diocese um, and across uh, our nation and across the world um, who who are faithful uh, and proclaim your word. We pray that you um, would um, give them effectiveness in mission. We pray to you, O oh Lord, that with all who are anointed by your spirit, we may bring good news to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. Lord, we pray that not only would we bring good news, but we would be good news. That we would, um, in the way that we live, that we would be conscious of the impact it has on the poor. Would you take a spirit of greed out of our hearts uh, and make us generous? We pray to you, O oh Lord. that within the whole company of Christ's pilgrim people we may come to the inheritance of the saints in glory. 
and today with our diocese we pray for the calling young disciples team we pray for the director ruth walker and uh, and deputy simon hill we pray for the mission neighbors Anne bachelor helen laird amy stokes sean morgan father we give you thanks for all they do to encourage and support parishes in sharing jesus love with children young people and families and we ask lord that that not only uh, we don't just give you thanks but we ask that you would boost that work uh, that you um through their ministry that young people children and families uh, would be reached with the love of jesus we pray to you O oh lord in communion with all the saints let us commend the world to the mercy and protection of god Eternal God, who made the Abbess Hilda to shine like a jewel in our land, and through your, her holiness and leadership, bless your church with new life and unity. Help us, like her, to yearn for the gospel of Christ, and to reconcile those who are divided. Through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining with me this morning and I hope you have a good rest of the day.